All right, guys, I mean, on a regular basis, yep. people ask us the question like, man, do you do contracts? You know what I mean? Do, what, yeah. do you, what do you do for care plans, all sorts of yeah. stuff? We do care recommendations. We don't do contracts. We always say, and we say this in our doctor's report, we say this in the report of findings, that we don't want you to be here if you don't want to be here. We want you to make an informed decision about your health yep. that you're fully committing to principal chiropractic care in our office. Yeah, you know, you do unto others what you'd want them to do to you yeah, or right. your family. Yep. So, you know, holding some of your practice or, or you know, gra rapidly increasing the rates if they ever stop care, those aren't something that, you know, you'd mm -hmm. feel congruent with. And you want to tell people everything up front. In fact, your paperwork is just so thorough. Just letting them know, hey, yep. this is not a contract, but every visit has a fee. Yep. So if you come around in for X amount of visits, either we F owe fee. you or you owe us, we just get square that's right. based on that fee for that amount of visits. Yeah, and it's, there's a lot of peace of mind there. And I think that that's why we have so many people paying full for care, because they know that they're doing it um, out of information, not out of fear. They're not getting locked in a contract. They know if they wanted to stop, we'd say you received this many visits, you paid this much money, do I owe you or do you owe me? We just get right. squared away, balance the account, and move forward. And they can come back when time's better for them. I think having a practice built on care recommendations rather than contracts is a very, very good thing for your community, for the people you serve, and for chiropractic.